Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Wing Games here, and I have for you a Dimatica Shadal deck profile. Uh, this deck is very budget, it's under $150. Uh, of course, I am playing some of them are a higher rarity, but the commons, you'll get the entire thing at the, like the lowest value, the lowest rarity, for around like $150. That's just main and extra deck. So, uh, let's just get straight into it. I got you guys with the side as well, and the extra. So let's just get going with it. Uh, you're playing a three Wendy. Uh, it's your combo starter. It's your your follow up for next turn. It's your interruption during your opponent's turn. Uh, you just flip it, especially the one from your deck face up or face down. And then if you send it by a card effect to the graveyard, you summon one face down from your from your deck. So that's really really nice. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, Squamata. You're playing three Squamata. Uh, when it when you flip it, target a monster on the field, destroy it. When it's sent to the graveyard by card effect, you get to send one shadow card from your deck to the graveyard. Uh, really key on the card part because they think that you can only send monsters, which is typically what you're gonna be doing. But in those niche instances, when you can, when they uh, if you go like chain link one skomata, chain link two construct, and then gamma the construct, you still send uh skomata, or if they evaluate the construct. Then you get to add back like a schism, so you construct pretty much did what it needed to do, and you made it out of hand traps, so that's really nice. And then Skomata, uh, we are playing the two hedgehog. Uh, hedgehog, when it's, when you flip it, it searches a spell a trap, uh, one shit all, and then when it sets a graveyard by card effect, you get to add a, a shit all monster from your deck to your hand. Uh, that's really good because you get a uh, free follow up for next turn. And you get to uh, search on your opponent's turn as well. In case you're, mi you're missing a fusion spell. Oh, you're playing two aerial. Uh, honestly, I like this card a lot. Uh, might think of bumping it up to three, but honestly, I think two is just fine. Uh, when you when it gets flipped, you target one of your banished shadow monsters. And then you special summon it face up or face down. And then if it's sent to graveyard by card effect, you get to target up to three cards in your opponent in the graveyards. And then banish them. So really, really nice. Just able to banish all those Elder Spells and Traps. As well as an Alistair. Or, or the Fallout that they need. Or maybe an Invocation as well. So just really, really nice. Uh, we're playing our 1-0s. 1 Beast, 1 Falco, and 1 Dragon. Uh, I just like this a lot. Beast allows you to, when you flip it up, draw 2 cards and discard a card. And then when it's sent to your by card effect, you draw 1 card. So it's a free plus for... Regardless of what do you use it for, um, drawing him kind of sucks. But uh, honestly, if you have another extender as well, you kind of make up for it. Uh, Falco, when it's flipped up, you you target a shadow monster in your graveyard and you special summon it in face down defense. And if it's sent to your graveyard, you can special summon Falco when face down defense. So always have monster on the field that you need, or something like that. You can uh, use Falco and then. If it gets flipped, you target a Wendy, put it face down, they flip it up, you get more monsters on the field. So really nice recursion. And then Falco, just uh, when it gets flipped, you return a card, uh, your opponent's card to your hand. And then uh, when it's set to your grave by card effect, target a spell trap on the field and destroy it. Again, just just real good utility. They don't come up a lot, but you can always max out on more. Uh, for the Dogmatica engine, we're playing uh, uh, two Ecclesia. The one Maximus. Uh, we aren't playing Servants, but I just like these as uh, light targets. You would not play Effect Veiler. Uh, Effect Veiler and Gamma. I mean, Gamma's alright, but after we set a couple back row, it's not really as useful as it should be. Uh, Ecclesia just searches Punishment. And then it's a free uh, level 4 when we can play, uh, summon out Abyss Dweller. And Maximus is just really good at summoning itself out. You can banish a construct, then you can flip aerial, bring out the construct, construct effect. So just really, really nice synergy. And then you get to dump too. So Maximus already inherit gives you an inherit plus two. So uh, Maximus is just really nice, and it's a light just for the the construct play, since you're adding back a El Shadow fusion or Shadow fusion. So really nice. Uh, I'm only choosing the one play one hand trap. That's Ash Blossom. Uh, Ash Blossom just hits almost every card in the in, like Yu-Gi-Oh. In the comparative uh, meta, 
But um, you can't really go wrong with Ash. Maybe you can swipe this out for an attribute you might need, like a light or a dark. But that's up to you for personal preference. For the fusion spells, I'm playing three shut off fusion. Uh, honestly, I like this card, but I don't like it enough. I might swap it out for a L shut off fusion. But using your materials from your opponents, uh, if they have an opponent of uh, extra deck monster, then you get to use your materials from your deck. Always really nice. But half of the time, if you draw this more than once, you kind of beg for them to use it uh, a negation on it. So this could be a brick in a, in a sense, or this can be a really nice extender as well. But that's just up to, based on the gameplay. Oh, uh, we are playing three super poly. I just like this card a lot. Oh, uh, we are playing some super poly targets, but uh, having the use of discarding a card and then fusion summoning using your opponent's materials is just really nice. You have like a Wendy, and they have like a, let's say they have a Drytron on their field. Then you can use Sir Poly, send away that Drytron, uh, use Wendy, and then now you have a free Construct Fodder. So it's just really, really nice. Uh, this will be kind of dead in some matchups, but it's always really nice using Super Poly for attack for game. If you are in, like, in the battle phase and you need an extra 2000, always really nice to use Sir Poly, fuse away your two uh, fusions, summon out another one, and then attack for game. It's always those niche instances where uh, Sir Poly comes up a lot. Uh, we're playing the one El Shadow Fusion, the one Monster Reborn, and the one Foolish Burial. Uh, Foolish is pretty much another uh, Shadow Monster. Just send it to the graveyard, you get the effect. Monster Reborn, I'm thinking of cutting this just because it was never really useful. Uh, however, it does have its niches. Uh, I might cut this out for another extender or maybe another hand trap. Or maybe it's something like a board breaker, something like that. But, uh, it, it always came up sometimes. Uh, Shut Off Fusion is a quick play fusion. Like, what more do you want? You know? It's just really, really nice. Allowing you to push for game and it's searchable. So, you can't really complain there. Uh, that's it for the spells. For the traps, we are playing Sinister Shadow Games. We are playing a three of. This is going to be your the best trap card for your starters. So what anyone does is you send a Shadal card from your deck to your graveyard, and then if you have, and you can change any number of sh uh, face down the def defense position Shadals, and then you flip them face up. So it's not one, it's multiple. So people don't know that. And then you trigger a lot of effects. You can send one Shadal monster, and then if you have two, you have flip. So now you have a chain link three going on. So just really, really nice. You get a lot of pluses. Sucks it's not searchable, but... We play at a three for that reason. Uh, we are playing triple torrential. Again, this is gonna be your best car and your best friend when it comes to board wipes. Uh, torrential is just really nice. You can flip summon uh your shadow monsters and then you just activate torrential. You get to nuke your opponent's board. You nuke your own, and then you get the effect as well. So just really really nice. And it's just really good at taking care of business. Uh, for our two of us, we're playing two Solemn Strike. Uh, I always take this out as soon as I get Dynam uh, Paleozoid Dynamiscus, but Solemn Strike just comes in really handy. Uh, it's top special summons, uh, and honestly, just really, really nice. Also, Out Dragoon as well, because if they go, or they go with Borlo Savage or Tyranno, if they don't have Misk. So, just really, really nice. And then we're playing the two punishment. And the restriction not to go into the extra deck does hurt in some instances, but honestly, we are playing a trap based Shadal engine, so uh, you have enough traps and follow up play where you can just play on your opponent's turn. So just really, really nice. And just it's a free pop too, depending on what you're playing. Uh, we are playing the one Schism and the one Rest Shadal. Uh, Schism is going to be the best trap card when it comes to fusion summoning. In the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh, allowing you to use materials from your graveyard or field, and then you get to send a card. Now keep in mind it sends, so this honestly does become a out to Dragoon. If then you bait out the negation, you can summon out Winda and then send the Dragoon to graveyard. Use the Monster Reborn, bring it back. Just little niche instances as well. 
And then Red Shadal has two effects, where if you target a Shadal monster in your graveyard, special summon it face down or uh, face up, and then you can banish it as well as one Shadal card in your graveyard, and then flip uh, one face up or face down. So, really niche instances, but honestly just really, really helpful at getting your engines and your going as well. Alright guys, we're going to go into the uh, straight into the extra deck. Uh, we are playing for the Fusions 3 Construct. It's a mandatory 3 of. If you're playing this at 2 or 1, then you're not playing Shadows. Uh, it does have to be Fusion Summon, but when it's Special Summon at all, you get to send one Shadow card from your deck to the graveyard. And then at the start of the damage step, it battles a Special Summon monster to just to nuke it. And then if this card is sent to the graveyard, you target a Shadow spell trap in your graveyard, add to your hand. So it's going to automatically replace itself. It's just really, really nice. 2800 beef stick, so just really good at sending all your cards as well. Oh, uh, we're playing the two of us. We're playing two Apcolone. Uh, Apcolone is just really nice as a free negation. And if it sends your graveyard, it's your, it becomes your Rota for your graveyard or for your hand, and then you trigger all your Shadow Monster effects. It's just a really good. And then uh, 25 beef stick as well, so can't really complain there. Uh, we're playing two Winda. Uh, Winda just locks out a lot of decks. It can't be destroyed by card effects, so just really nice as well. You probably get only one Fusion Summon as well. So if you go against a Dragon League matchup and you just set a Sword Poly and you set a Shadow Monster, that's all you really need because then you, you attack the Normal Summon. Let's say they go Normal Summon, Over Raptor, or something like that. And you go Normal Summon, Over Raptor, you activate their Sword Poly, sending both your Shadow and their Over Raptor. You summon out Winda, then they can't do anything. Because they need to spread something at least once. And then if they have that out, then you could just go schism, do it again. So just really nice. And you play two because you can recur. Uh we are playing for Zero Party targets. We're playing the one star in Venom and the one Mud Dragon. Uh Mud Dragon comes in a lot just because you get to make sure your opponents can't like target you with, like effect veiler or imperm. And then uh Mud Dragon just really good at nuking the board if it gets destroyed by card effects. And then, uh, this becomes free fodder for window. You can just banish it with Schism. So these cards are never really dead. Uh, unless you're playing like a, like a Earth, some, uh, Earth and Wind deck. So, so uh, just really, really nice. And then Dragoon's in the format all over the place. So, helps, uh, having an out on your hands. Uh, we are playing the budget version of this deck. But we can swap it out for access code. We're playing the one Boral Sword. The one Phoenix. The one gravity controller. Uh, these are my one ofs. Uh, Phoenix is good utility. Uh, you get to draw a card if you it's calling, and then you get to uh, pop a card on the field. Really nice. Uh, Boral sword just there. Boral sword kill. You know. Uh, gravity controller. Uh, this is just really nice. You go construct. This is your best way of getting construct in the graveyard. Because you have to summon it out in the extra deck monster zone. So now you have a way of of clearing construct and then getting their effect. And also really good because it can't be a by battle with a, a monster in the main monster zone. And then if it attacks an extra deck monster zone, a monster in this zone, then you get to uh, bounce them both of the hand. So it's recurrable as well. So it's really, really nice. And those little niche instances do, do come up. Uh, for my last link... Uh, the MVP, uh, Artemis, the Majesty's Moon Maiden. Uh, you, this is just really nice. You get to, uh, have a free light. It's a Link 1. You know how broken Link 1s are. And then, it's just a level 4 lower spellcaster. N nothing to be said. It's a light as well, so just really good. Really good synergy. Uh, we're playing the 1 Omega, and then we're playing the 1 Abyss Dweller. Uh, but then at win games, why not play, uh... Gamma if you're playing Omega. Well, because you just send this with Punishment. You never really make it. If you wanted to make it, then you have to play Driver. And then drawing Driver it makes your hand go uh, into a four-card hand. If you uh, you don't have any uh, Shadow card. Yeah, so now... I mean, Abyss Dweller is just Abyss Dweller shutting off the graveyard. It's always important in this format. But that's it for the extra deck. And now moving on to the main deck, the extra deck, the side, my bad. Uh, we're playing Triple Drone Lockbird. Uh, drone Lockbird is really, really nice. Allowing you to uh, pretty much stop all your Drytron matchups. 
and uh, just allowing you to have a turn skip for your opponent. Yeah, you might not be able to OTK that turn, but if you play your cards right, you might be able to. If you draw a monster heavy lineup, but if you're playing other traps, you could just set all your traps and then make them play under your disruptions. So just really, really nice. Uh, we're playing a triple lands here. If I'm going against a dino matchup or a, a deck that banishes a lot, I'll probably take this out for the Dogmatica engine or for the Ash Blossom. So this deck has a lot of room for side decking as well as making sure that your cards are always live. And if you want, you can always send this. It's a light target to the graveyard for a construct if you have shut off fusion. So it's just really, really nice. And you have fodder for the cards as well as with the schism if they're in the graveyard. And off for the we're playing two alpha. Alpha is just a good out as well. So having a 3k beast stick is able to kill everything. And then allowing you to make sure that you get to bounce a card as well. Which is really really nice. Uh, we're playing the one Harpy's Flood Duster for the back row. A free nuke. Just really good one up. Uh, we're playing three evenly matched. Uh, the battle phase isn't as important in this deck right now. But allowing you to uh, get rid of your opponent's negation. And then uh, going for the evenly. Allowing you to uh, make sure you're, you're pretty much like two turns ahead. Because then you have to recover from that. But at that point you have so much advantage. So just really good blowout card this, this format. And lastly, we are playing the Triple Dark Will No More. Uh, I do not have droplets, so this is the best option out there. This comes in a common, so very affordable. Uh, just get rid of all the face out monsters. That's all uh, their effects. You can't kill that turn, but honestly, you can just set all your back row and then make them go for it. So that's it. But guys, let me know what you guys think on this deck profile. Let me know in the comments. But I'll be seeing you guys soon.